All right. Well, welcome back, everybody. To well, are we recording? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Already. Yeah, man. Are we ready? Yeah, we're doing it live. Welcome back. Holy shit, that was way too loud. <laughs> <laughs> live from the Stack Studio. We're back with another new episode. Wow, returning guest Noah Sias. Give it up for him. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> We got a lot to talk about this week, including natural disasters. Like your dating life. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Doing a lot better than last week for those who care. Oh, we do care. <laughs> All right, so segment one. Some announcements. Ooh, what announcements do we have? Uh, we're live from Stag Studios. woo That was not the right one. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> this works out better when I print them. I should have printed at least one. You should have. All right. Uh, this is the Tap Podcast with Patrick and, and Ryan. Ryan. And I'm, I'm Noah. And that's Noah. <laughs> Noah's here. <laughs> He's back again, guys. We were so excited. First returning I'm, guest. I'm yeah. very excited. Very first returning guest. Uh, tell them about social media, Patrick. What is it? Well, they can follow us on Facebook. That's right. We have Instagram. We have a Twitter account. YouTube. YouTube. I can't believe we're on YouTube. Everybody's on YouTube. I know, but how long is it going to take before we're YouTube famous? 10,000 views. Yeah, 10,000 oh, views. so close. Right on that Very edge. close. We're on the cusp. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone knows our email, but no one writes in. That's right. Patrick says that every week, and every week you don't write in. <laughs> Why aren't they writing in? I don't know. Your daughter likes to write in and she yell does. at me. She did. She was very upset. Bitch. I'm kidding. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Please don't punch me. No. I would never. Now on the air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was, well, did you say Patreon? I did not. We have Patreon. Yeah, that's fun. It is fun. We're going to do polls on Patreon. We have a new Patreon subscriber this week. We do? Yeah. Nice. Kind of blew me away. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Is it Echo? No. <laughs> she- <laughs> is it Shelly? No. Who is it? It's Logan Watson. What? Yeah, my son. Awesome. How much is he throwing down? He threw down $7. That's pretty hey, good. Right. He wants to do 20 and I was like, no, you can't. No, it's not appropriate. I don't need you to pay for my podcast. He's like, no, Dad, I want to. Yeah, let him do That's it. That's awesome. Fuck it, man. Does he make his own money? <laughs> yeah, he has a job. Let yeah, him do it. Let so. him do it. He is currently subscribed at the $7 a month tier. Awesome. Thank you very much, Logan Watson. Yeah. I've met that young man before. He's a good kid. He's okay for your kid. <laughs> He's sometimes got his head up his ass. <laughs> but that your... Patreon was pretty cool. The... Patreon's been pretty active. Yeah. You know, we had uh, Thunder Davin. David. He subscribed. Thunder Davin. How you like to do that? <laughs> <laughs> and he left a review on iTunes, too. He did. Thunder Davin did, yeah, a while back. Yep. We have a new review on iTunes. Oh, who? Uh, I have to pull it up. I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared. Task, task, task. task. Well, while we wait, how while we week? wait, while we wait, we'll ask we rabbits. I can't talk. Let's ask Noah how his week was. Noah, how how was your week? Well, you can kind of see on my feet that I've been painting. Dope. Yep. Uh, it was my girlfriend's week off from work. Gross. And what I'm a, and what a great week to have off spent uh, painting. Oh, what a miserable in- week it was. <laughs> Painting the entire house. Uh, Outside? No. <laughs> no, that's uh, that's vinyl. No, we painted everything, and except the Four Seasons room. But uh, Well, that, that you should leave that to them. Four Seasons Hotel. <laughs> Wasn't that a band? <laughs> <laughs> four Seasons? Yeah. The Four Tops? Four Three tops. Seasons? There was Maybe. a Seasons band, wasn't there? There's always a season. It's the time of Never the mind. season. Never mind. Th- I'm thinking of Earth, Wind, and Fire. <clears throat> there you go. <laughs> but yeah, we, uh, we painted. We just finished uh, two days ago, I think. Yeah. And we spent Tuesday through Friday every single day at Menards. Aw. Gross. I love home improvement stores. I Gross. tell you what. 
I uh, we were originally going through Lowe's for like paint, mm-hmm. and uh, garbage. Yeah, we we're not gonna go through them anymore. Like they have the whole oh, if you're not happy with it, you know, bring it back, no problem. We'll swap it out for something. Mm-hmm. And uh, well, we brought <laughs> yeah motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> um, we uh, we brought it back, and they started giving us a bunch of shit for it. Yep, they suck. And it was kind of like eh, no, we're out of here. So we go to Menards and come to find out they have the exact same thing. If you're not happy with it, bring it back. And they actually follow it. Yeah. And they actually, like, gave us a few pointers on a couple of the colors that we were looking at. How nice. So, but I How'd don't How'd everything turn out? Pretty good. Uh, <laughs> our dining room is now, like, a orangish red, and our living room I'm is yellow. puke. So it's like ketchup and mustard. Your living room is yellow now? Yeah. Oh, boy. It looks good, though. See, this isn't fun for you, Patrick, because you have no idea what it looks like. No, it's fine. Shut up. (laughs) That hurts. My living room is also yellow. It is. So it's fine. I believe that... I don't remember what the first part of the color name was, but the second part was (laughs) cornflower. Hello. Pretty good. Cornflour? Yeah, cornflour. Mm. Hmm. Maize cornflour. Mm. Nice to meet you. Maize. <laughs> <laughs> Tim and Eric reference for anybody who knows that. Mm. What's our new review? Uh, let's see. <laughs> Let me see. I got to pull it up. I got to pull it up. <laughs> well, it's right here. I took a picture of it, so my f- I didn't lose it. Uh, let's see. Roxy Pickle <laughs> writes in, you need this in your ears. Great chemistry together, and the giggle laughs are infectious. I like that anything goes. Patrick might be my nerdy spirit animal. Ooh, sounds like you got a secret admirer. Maybe. Thank you, Roxy Pickle. I thought it was my cousin at first, but I don't think it was. Hmm. I don't know who it was. What's your cousin's name? Keith. (laughs) (laughs) Not Roxy. (laughs) Awesome. All right. Oh, boy. What's next? Uh, I don't know. How was your week, Ryan? Oh, I, fine. Fine? Yeah. Great. Um, we had Monday off for Labor Day. That was pretty cool. Riveting. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday were pretty awful. Why? I was just miserable and rainy, and I was tired. Ugh. But Thursday night, I finally got a good night's sleep, and all day Friday, I felt pretty good until I got to work. <laughs> And then? <laughs> and then I found out that I missed three bad parts. Whoa. So I got in trouble for that. Did you get written up? No. Are you going to get fired? I hope so. Man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't get fired. It's really hard to get fired from that place. Like, yeah. you know how hard it is to get fired from Erdman? Yeah. That was not that hard. For <laughs> you. <laughs> I was out of there pretty damn quick. Uh, it's it's even harder to get fired from this place. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of people that still work there that really shouldn't. Yeah. I can think of a few. <laughs> Riding the train. That's or right. Riding the plane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was all right. It was not a bad week. I make it out a lot worse than it was. That's cool. I didn't die. Yeah. My uncle did. Really? Yeah. Wait. Dang. I think... I had a great uncle die. He did? Yep. What was his name? Who cares? Well, <laughs> I didn't know I had him until he died. That's oh. the second time that's happened to me. You don't know your family? I, on my dad's side. My dad's oh. side is a bunch of... Close? Bunch of ringers. Whoa. <laughs> Are you going to go to the funeral? Hell no. I don't think there even is a funeral. <laughs> I was going to say you should go there and just make up this big elaborate story about how you and your great uncle used to have the greatest times. We used to go fishing and hunting. And mudden? <laughs> mudden. Yeah. Gross. Yeah. No, I, I had an uncle who I didn't know about him until one day. I, I might have told this story on the podcast before, but one day uh, I get a phone call. And I was the only one home. And they were looking for my dad. And they say, hey, is your dad home? I said, no. Why? Uh, what's this? What's up? I said, oh, well, just let him know that uh, Randy died. <laughs> And I was like, oh, okay. So my dad gets home and he, I said, hey, dad, somebody called and said Randy died. And he said, ah, the only good thing that miserable bastard ever did. <laughs> that was his brother? Yeah, half wow. brother. 
Jeez. And I was like, who's Randy? He's like, your goddamn uncle. Man. Goddamned uncle. Yeah. He was Jeez. a bad dude from what That's I understand. Rough. And this dude that just died was worse. Whoa. That's pretty so good. pretty cool. Family stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that should be a new segment. Family stuff. <laughs> Family stuff. There you go. With a nice new jingle. Yeah. I'll do it like almost like uh, All in the Family or something like that. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. We all, we all had a decent week. Yeah. It was rough. Cool. <laughs> So, what's next, Patrick? Uh, I don't know. You want to talk about our cookout? We should. It's coming up It's quick. next week. Yeah, Saturday. I'm excited. Excited? I know of at least four people who are going to be there. <laughs> I know of like four or five. That's cool. We might have too many hot dogs. Noah's going to be there. I'm going to be there. Yeah. Well, that's nine. That's great. I already know him. <laughs> <laughs> We're at, great. <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited. We're going to have hot dogs. I don't think we're going to have a kickball tournament. Nobody signed up. That's on you. Oh, we didn't, like, post a sign-up sheet. We did. We did? I posted on our Facebook page for them to comment on either Ryan or Patrick. (laughs) Or, no, on the event page. I think I missed it. You can always divvy it up, like, day of. Yeah. If anybody wants to play kickball... Yeah, we'll throw it out there. If they want to, they can. Bring a kickball. And it might rain. Who knows? I mean... I hope it does. Yeah, pores, <laughs> cats and dogs. But no, anyway, we're going to have potato chips, oh, hot dogs. <laughs> what kind of potato chips? Uh, the real potato-y ones. Oh, the full I potato. I wasn't ready for potato chips. I was, <laughs> I was ready for a potato salad, but potato chips. <laughs> I don't want to make... Man, the potato salad I make is so expensive. So you're not going to make it? I might. You're just going to cheap out and do the chips? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> it's potato chip salad. Pota- Ooh. Mm. God damn it. <laughs> it's just a bunch of different brands of potato chips poured into one bowl. Some raw potatoes underneath them. <sighs> but yeah, I might make potato salad. What are you going to make, Patrick? Uh, I don't know. Oh, taco salad. Taco salad? Taco salad. All right. You guys hear that? All eight of you? Do you hear that? There's more than eight. Probably. Some days. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have potato salad, taco salad, hot dogs, hamburgers, potato chips. So many potatoes. So much. All right. We're going to have a lot of stuff. We're excited for you. What else are we doing? Uh, We're going to do a live taping of the show. Whoa. (laughs) Whoa. (laughs) (laughs) That's funny because you don't get that. Uh, That's pretty good. Yeah. We'll do a bit of video editing over here. Oh. Yeah, that's an inside joke. Show. Coke. Whoa. (laughs) (laughs) Um. We're going to have a raffle. Yeah. What are you giving away? Uh, we've got a $50 gift card yep. from Brian Austin. Is he coming? Uh, he said he might. I'm going to get a hold of him this week. Yeah, blow him up. Yep. Be like, yo. Because he needs to. Yeah. Uh, Cam McCormick is going to be out of town. Yeah, he. they just redirected their travel to California. Really? Yeah, they were going to Florida. Oh, yeah, they shouldn't go there. Nope. <laughs> also, he's starting his own podcast. Yeah, he texted me the other day. <laughs> hey, maybe get Noah on board with that. Maybe he can edit it for him. That's what I was going to say. I was going to redirect it. I'm throwing business at yeah, you, son. Yeah, do it. Yeah, we've got uh, other stuff to raffle off, too. Other stuff? Some personal items. Uh, what are you going to raffle off, Patrick? Are you going to bring a pop? Uh, yes, I'm bringing a pop. Okay. Pop. Pop. You should do a raffle for, like, someone brings a pop and then they open it. No. <laughs> yes. And Patrick has to watch. Yeah. Oh. And he can't say a word. Oh, no. That was so much fun <laughs> what, when Claire and Shelly were here watching you twitch when Claire opened that pop. She just wanted to tear into it. Yeah, she's oh, like most to, like, try when, when I was sitting there editing the, box. The, the episode, I, I could already like see it. Like, rip. Oh, Dude, oh. his face was just like... Huh. <laughs> it was like physically painful. It was. I felt a little uncomfortable. Right. Yeah. I talked to a friend of the show, Josh, workman, that scrawny fuck in Arizona. Because <laughs> he still hasn't donated to our Patreon, even though he said, hey, I'm going to support you guys. Yeah. He still hasn't done it. What a bitch. He just got a new job too, right? Fucking making bank. All right. Here's a call for Josh. Josh, give us your money, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, he, we were talking the other day on the phone. He was talking about that episode with Claire, and he's like, "Man, that fucking tweaker was crazy." <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, she's kind of wild, dude." Anybody who's talked to me about that episode was just like, "Claire is insane." She was tweaked. <laughs> she's fun though. I think she's coming Saturday. Oh no! I mean, cool. Uh, she's gonna bring some friends, I'm sure. Oh, good. Hopefully, just her boyfriend. Oh, hopefully not him. <laughs> I don't know. He seems like a no. Nice if guy. he does, I'm gonna pick on him for having that nail through his foot. Oh yeah, that was a gross story. <laughs> you dummy. <laughs> yeah, that was gross. So yeah, we got a we got a pop to raffle off. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a fun pop and other assorted items. So show up. Buy yeah. some tickets. Yeah, win gotta, some shit. We gotta buy raffle tickets, Ryan. We will. Dollar Tree. <laughs> Fucking don't, Ed. Don't let me forget. Does Dollar Tree really have raffle tickets? Yep. I Party told section. you. Uh, I forget you used to work there. <laughs> yes, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, moving on from moving our on. cookout. What else are you going to do with the cookout, Ryan? What am I going to do? Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm going to sell I'm Hershey's. I'm going to get herpes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One can only hope. Oh, man, I hope my cousin comes with a big cold sore on Oof. the side of her face. I'll punch her first. Her name is Jill. <laughs> Jill? That yeah. sounds like somebody who's not have a cold sore. Yeah, she's not going to come. She doesn't like me. <laughs> Good. Also, I've talked about how she once was going to be a stripper, and someone in my family asked me about that. <laughs> <laughs> that's so, awesome. Yeah, that happened. So, that's our cookout. Come to it. Yes, Saturday. It's a cookout. <laughs> it's a cookout. We're going right. to start at noon, right? Yeah, we're, we're going to start at noon. So, if you want to start showing up at around noon... We'd like to eat first, probably, I would assume. Whatever. So that the food is hot. Loosey-goosey. There's going to be, like, the day before on the event page, a list, like, an itinerary of what's going on. Okay. Cool. So there you go. Look for that. Noah, do you have a message to our listeners? I do. What would that be? So my message is, uh, every week, for those who may be new to listening. Uh, I edit the show. I upload it, all that stuff. He listens to all of our shows. <laughs> I do. 100% of them. And it doesn't even count as a listen, because I'm listening to it as I'm editing it. Can yeah. I, can I ask a quick question? Sure. No. One time, about two months ago, I tried to download our show 30 times a day, and it didn't count towards the downloads. <laughs> I just kept downloading it, deleting it, downloading it, and deleting it. I don't think that... It probably just goes by user. I, yeah, I, I think you get like a unique ID yeah. for the Man, actual I was download. trying to cheat the system. <laughs> so I listen to the show every week, obviously. And there's been, on the past few shows, a call to action where these guys ask a question and they want like a feedback or they want to hear a story. So my message is... Quit being a bunch of dickheads and get on Facebook or Twitter and You're start on there responding. Anyway. If you can share some stupid clickbait crap on Facebook, why can't you say, oh, hey, here's a story related to what these guys were talking about? Yeah. Now, that being said... Feed me. For the back to school episode, I did oh, a yeah. response. <laughs> and guess who didn't read it on the air? You guys! Hi, there there was a response? Yeah. I didn't I, even see it. I saw it, and I was like, oh, cool. I totally <laughs> forgot. <laughs> so, okay. Tell everybody the Matt Damon story. Oh, okay. Matt Damon story. You'll you'll have to remind me sure, on some sure. of the details, but I think we I was in 10th grade? Yeah. Yeah. I was a sophomore. Noah was a junior. And we were in the symphonic band under the lead of... One Mr. Brian J. Olean. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, a fine fellow otherwise, but... Who we didn't respect. <laughs> yeah, who, whom we did not respect <laughs> at the time. Uh, we were at a uh, festival. Yep. Um, in Grand Valley? Something like that. Somewhere off. We had bust out there, and we were playing for people who were judging us. It was fun. We were sitting in a library. <laughs> and that's kind of important to the story. And he was trying to get our attention, right? Well, I think we were having like a quick powwow before we were going to like go start staging stuff, yep. and, you know, getting ready to go. And he's just rambling on and on and on <laughs> to like the woodwinds and the brass. And we're just like, 
Yeah, whatever. We got this. Okay. And then he had mentioned something to Percussion, which Ryan and I were in. Yep. He mentioned something, and we didn't really hear it. And right on cue, just perfectly, he goes, Percussion, you got that? And Ryan goes, Matt Damon. Okay, great. (laughs) (laughs) He totally accepted that. Yeah. (laughs) There's another good one. Uh, Who was that guy? Oh, yeah. yeah. Same deal. So, uh, so uh, it was Mr. Olean again, only this time. Marching I'm, band. I'm out of high school. Oh, that's and, right. And I'm teching for the drum line. And uh, the kids had just won state. And, you know, they're all excited. They're on the charter bus. They're yelling, screaming. They're all happy. That's cool. Whatever. And he's trying to get their attention. He's like, all right, guys. 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 And he was just like super pissed. <laughs> and he said, I know you guys are excited, but you still need to have respect for me. I'm trying to tell you guys information, blah, 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 blah. He's going on and on and on. He's just pissed. And he walks off the bus and me being a terrible like instructor for my kids. <laughs> Bad I said, example. Who's that guy? <laughs> <laughs> We had a lot of fun with you, Mr. Oli, and I hope if you listen to the show, you don't hate us. Is he still alive? Oh, yeah. He's, yeah, he's he was a young guy. He started my freshman year. Mm-hmm. Ah. See, most of my teachers are dead. Well, that's because you're old <laughs> as shit. <laughs> old. I got another band story. Oh, go on. The... <laughs> Knock it off! <laughs> <laughs> no! Is that the quit dicking around? What? I'm trying, I'm trying to remember what... The djembe that got kicked over. No, 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 not okay. that one. This was when we were at... Oh, I know what you're talking <laughs> yeah. about. So you should explain the whole... Uh... All right, so um, in the snare line, my scenes... Junior year. Yeah. Junior year. Uh, we had this call. There was four of us, and it's it, the call went... It was like an attendance thing. It went, oh my God, that's tits and i would shout tits at the end so uh one guy would shout oh my another guy would shout god another guy would shout that and my line was tits so there you got- <laughs> and you change tits up every time yep. <laughs> <laughs> so there's the idea so one night it's quiet and well relatively quiet we're supposed to be going to sleep on a gym floor somewhere i think it was right before uh regionals yeah it was right before regionals and <laughs> I'm on the floor. Mr. Hodson is right next to me, who is our lead band director, who did not find this funny. But (laughs) they started the call, and I'm just like, oh, no, no, no. And it got to, oh, my God, that's... Knock it off! Yep. (laughs) And he was standing right above everybody. Yep. (laughs) And that was just terrifying for me, because I knew he was there. It was just so unnecessary to, like, yell, knock it off that loud. Oh, it was bad. I was just trying to get some sleep. And yeah, then, I, I w- guess. One last story here, real quick, just about the rolling. djembe. Yeah. This was uh, my sophomore year. We had a show themed after Africa, the continent. Not and, the book? No, not the book. Okay. We had a lot of African drums just chilling on a field. And this was a Friday, right before a football game, we were rehearsing, and... We were marching, we were practicing marching off the field, and a couple of people were messing around, and they knocked over one of the djembe's, which are very expensive, and (laughs) everybody was, like, people were coming in to watch the football game, there was a bunch of people walking back and forth with their kids and stuff, and over the loudspeaker, Mr. Hodson shouts, QUIT DICKING AROUND! And I lost it. Like, I was scared, but on the inside, I was shaken because I was laughing so hard. <laughs> Fond memories. Oh, boy. But, yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> got a little off the rails there, but that's okay. So that's a school one. Yeah. Uh, I got one in regards to, I think it was last week. So. <clears throat> For Pat, school? N- no. The uh, Muskegon Mall? Yeah, well, the Muskegon Mall stuff. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <clears throat> you had said that there was like a, uh, like a, almost like a precursor to Hot Topic in there. Yeah. That was Insanities. Oh, yeah, that's still there. Well, but no, it's out off, it's out by Oh, no, Shores Insanities, now. yeah, you're right. No, yeah. that's on Henry. 
Right. right? Yeah. yeah. But I mean, it started there. I was thinking there. Joker's Wild. Fun story. <laughs> the original owner of that. Oh, yeah. This is fun. Is uh, he was in the process of like selling his house. And I think I think this is how it went. Uh, in the process of selling his house, and the realtor like couldn't get it sold or something like that. And uh, so one day he decided to it was either go to this dude's home or go into the office, and he shot him. <laughs> Just like killed him. Oh my god! I didn't know that. Yeah. Dope. So, so he went and killed his realtor. Something like that. Whoa. Yeah. So that's pretty good. <laughs> Um, so maybe is that why insanities went through the the changing that they did? I probably. Imagine. I barely remember them being in the mall. I just remember there were tons of shirts up on the wall. Yeah. And now there's tons of dildos. <laughs> there is in the back. Yep. <laughs> With the tobacco products. Yeah, yes. tobacco water pipes. Tobacco. Yes, peace pipe. They're bongs. <laughs> Don't bong. you can't call them bongs. Cheech and bong. <laughs> Um, I also remember uh, going to play in the arcade there. Yeah. I remember specifically playing... Uh, X-Men? Maybe. <laughs> but I specifically remember when Mortal Kombat 3 came out. Okay. And uh, me and a buddy of mine, uh, our moms used to go shopping at the mall all the time, and they'd just give us like a ton of quarters, and we would just go in there and just mash buttons so hard. Just like, sure. yeah, Mortal <laughs> Kombat 3! <laughs> I never got to. <clears throat> they also had Area 51. Okay. And then uh, they had a bunch of pinball machines prior to me giving a shit about pinball. Yeah. Which is unfortunate. I just remember the uh, the stand-up X-Men arcade they had. Mm-hmm. That was amazing. I don't remember. I never went to the mall. And then, uh, oh yeah, one last thing. So, you've been to Disney World... Yeah. Yeah. And you liked it. Yeah, I love it. You'd go back again, yes? <laughs> Tomorrow. Yeah. During the hurricane. L- likewise. I, like, <laughs> oh, yeah. You know where I'm going I with this. I think I know the story you're going to tell. But uh, Epcot, for me, is like a nerd's wet dream. There's so many cool science things there. Yes. I'm going to, I agree 100%. The last time we went, we skipped Epcot. Gotcha. Just because my daughter, who was like 12 at the time, no, she was 13. No, she was 12. Started a period. 12. No, she doesn't do that, Ryan. Oh, you're right. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> no, it just, it, they weren't really into it. My wife and daughter really just wanted to spend all their time at Animal Kingdom. Gotcha. So that's See, where we spent the bulk of our time there. And that was like my least favorite of the bunch. Oh, we had a riot. I mean, it, and when a I say riot. least favorite, it was, it was still a lot of fun. But I don't know. It's just like, oh, hey, the cool. le- The least fun day at Disney is better than any other day on the planet. Yes, I would agree with that. Nope. You've you never need been. to go. You do. I won't. You'll go. We'll take you on our next family vacation. I'll only go spring. if everything for me is entirely free. Well, I can't promise you prostitutes. I'm being a bitch. <laughs> it is fun to go to, though. I think everybody should go there at least once. Yeah. Because it, it's, it, it's an experience. It's interesting. That's what they say about strip clubs, too. Yeah, well... You <laughs> Actually, know. holding on to that thought right there, uh, Josh, previous conversation, did say we need to bring you, Ryan, to a strip club. Oh, no. Because I think you, I don't think you've ever been, have you? I have. Oh, okay. I told him I wasn't <laughs> Not. Sure. You didn't let me finish. <laughs> oh, see? This Just like black. everybody else. Not. <laughs> he said we should definitely bring you, and it would be entertaining. You and Josh bring me? Well, I don't, I don't know. He lives in Arizona. Tell him to get that scrawny fucking butthole here. You Did guys you need to go down to Arizona and then go to Bisbee. <laughs> oh, I for sure would. And camp out until Doug Stanhope <laughs> opens the gate. <laughs> I've what? been to Bisbee. Have you been? It is shot. Really? Like the historic... Like Doug Stanhope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he's making bank. The uh, So are we. <laughs> The historic downtown is nothing but like old retired, retired, old retired white folks who run these like really stupid souvenir shops. Sure, that they're they're charging like something as stupid as this. It'd be like a pen. It says I heart Bisbee. Yeah, I heart Bisbee. Nine, Five dollars. Wow, you I'd know. buy that. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. 
Uh, See, you'd love Disney. They've got all these kitschy souvenirs, pins, and drugs. I hate souvenirs. Man, I love them. I love getting them. I hate looking at them and deciding what to get for other people. You know what else Disney has right now, today, that I'm so jealous that I'm not there? So much water. Exclusive. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. (laughs) So deep. Exclusive what? Pops. Oh, God. (laughs) (laughs) They've got this exclusive orange bird. People don't understand. This is genuinely my least favorite thing to talk about in the whole world. (laughs) Well, I'm just going to talk about this orange bird. I didn't understand why they were doing this Disney exclusive orange bird. I could have seen blue bird, but this orange bird, until I figured out, oh, it's like oranges. Like, I get it. California, Florida, oranges. Huh. What else? What about Big Bird? Um, they don't own Big Bird. Maybe they do. I don't know. I don't think, I don't they, think do. they do. No, nah, Sesame Workshop, I think, is its own entity. Oh, yeah, it's all part of Henson Productions. Yeah. But. That checks out. Viacom. <laughs> it all checks out. <laughs> so, yeah, what what is your Disney story? We got sidetracked. Okay, a so. Ooh. Back to my favorite spot, Epcot. <laughs> Epcot. Which, the one time I did go, I thoroughly enjoyed. Mm -hmm. Uh, They have that one ride where you go through and you see all, like, the different, like, agriculture stuff that they're doing. Where, like, they took tomato plants and it almost looked like cherry trees. Yeah. Like, that stuff was crazy. Um, But anyway, we're going through the different countries and all that kind of stuff. And we're on this big family vacation. And... uh, you know, they're always stressing, oh, that's the Disney magic. Oh, that's the magic of Disney. Yeah, you don't see people frown. And any they... time that I would hear a kid cry, I would always turn around to my family and go, that's the magic of Disney. <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> we're walking through and we're going through like the, I think the Japan part of it. And there's like... A wall right, or it's like a building right here, and people are coming from here. We're coming from here. Yep. We're walking, and we see this dad in full dad garb. Sure. You Khaki know. shorts. Yeah. Sandals. New Balance. Fanny pack. <laughs> uh, I don't think we were quite that far. Uh, I'm I'm making a move back to the fanny packs. It's coming. <laughs> Fuck you. So, <laughs> this dad is walking with a purpose. And he goes... He's got the Disney walk. He goes, fuck this. And you see two kids going like... And the wife goes, I thought we were going to talk about this. Oh, my God. I love that story. And everybody's, everybody in my family's just like... And I turned around and I said, that's the Disney magic. <laughs> it is. It is such a high-stress environment. It really is. See, you, but why, why would you want to put yourself through that? Because it's magical. Is it worth it? It, it is. is. Uh, it, it, it really it's is. It's an experience. The, the, I feel like a lot of people go into Disney with no like idea of what they're trying to do. Yeah. I think if you plan it out a little bit, it's easy. It's they're trying easy. to enslave our children. It's so much easier now with the fast pass and the wristbands. Did you, did, when you went, did you guys get the wristbands yet? We didn't get the wristbands, but we would do the fast pass stuff. Oh my God. The wristbands, everything is tied right to your account through your wristbands. Through oh, it's just RFID. like a music festival. Is it? I don't know. Cause they started doing that with music festivals. To like, it, That's your ticket to get in. Yep. It's your ticket. It's got your hotel information in it. Yep. Your credit card information. You just wave this. Birth certificate. Bam. Social security number. Well, I, don't, I don't think they go that far. Well, you don't know. They're Disney. Blood type. <laughs> yeah, Disney owns everything. <laughs> everything. But I have two funny Disney stories. The one, when we were at Epcot. 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 <laughs> The, uh, the Epcot ball, whatever that is. I forget the yeah, name of that yeah. ride. But you go into it, and it's an experience. It's a wonderful life. No, that's a totally different ride <laughs> that's in the Magic Kingdom, and that is amazing. Safari. That's in Animal Kingdom. That's a browser. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that no one uses. Anyway. Uh, so we go into the, the Ep- Epcot ball. Epcot. It's my entire family. The, my mom, my dad, who... <laughs> At this point, we're talking that was 16 years ago. Sure. So he was like 75. You're dead? Yeah. God damn, dude. Now, also because my dad is uh, handicapped, he's basically crippled. Uh, he doesn't get around very well, but he does walk. 
we got moved to the front of every line. If you got a cripple with you, bring him to Disney. You go to the front of the line. That's what my no waiting business associate would call executive privileges. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So through all this, we go to the front of the line and everything. We go to the front of the line at Epcot. We get like halfway through Epcot and the fucker breaks down. Oh no! It's a slow moving ride. It's like a roller coaster. And it's just slow moving. It just chugs along and it just goes along the the perimeter, the inside of the ball fun so after about 45 minutes they come and they say we're sorry uh the ride's unable to continue we're gonna have to offload you and we're gonna have to take you down a back stairwell so we got to go get off the ride (laughs) and then go through (laughs) it was like the sands of arabia was the (laughs) corner and they pushed on this wall and it was like a magic carpet on the wall where they hide the kids no, they just pushed on it, and like all of a sudden we're inside Epcot, and we go down the stairwell. And now my dad's like seventy five, and he barely gets around very well. So, so he falls. No, they had two <laughs> Disney people there holding each of his arms, helping him down the stairs. But it was just fun seeing like a hidden doorway in Disney. Right, one of those little secrets. Man, that was rad. And no. then, go ahead. go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, so I believe. It was you who said, or maybe it was you, that nobody's died at Disney. Yeah, nobody's died on Disney property. As far as it goes on paperwork. Yes. There's an entire website dedicated to every Don't death. Don't touch the mic. <laughs> it wasn't me, man. Dedicated to every <laughs> death that's happened at Disneyland or World. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. No, you showed me that. Yeah, and there's yeah. just a bunch of random, like, oh, or, or like bad accidents. Shit like, happens. It's it, gonna happen no matter where you go. Right. And that's the employees, right? Like former employees do. No, no. Like this is guests. But no, I mean who run the website? Uh, could or submit be. stories. Could be. Okay. Yeah, it could be anything. I I imagine though, like, and they're not called uh, employees; they're called cast members. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> just just like at Michigan's Adventure, they're not called uh, uh, customers or whatever; they're called guests. Guests. Get it right. Yeah, where I work, we're not employees. We're associates. That's right. We're slaves. <laughs> call it what That's it is. That's what they call me at my job. Hey. <laughs> Holy That's fuck. That's pretty good. They were pissed off at me this week because I wasn't going to work over because we were short because the holiday, we had eight hours of holiday pay. They mm-hmm. wanted me to work over and just pay me straight time. Uh, no. I said, no, if you're going to pay me eight hours for holiday pay, then you're going to pay me overtime. No, we don't do that. Well, fuck you. I'm not working extra then. Yeah, and you took the radio away, so fuck That's you right. again. Fuck you, you took my headphones away, bitch. Now I just have to wear my hoodie and wear my headphones anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and I just sweat more. <laughs> but uh, I'm really sticking it to him. That's right, I am. I, I get it back from the man. Uh, I'm trying. I, you threw me off my second Disney story. I don't remember what it was. I don't either. Oh, we were. Uh, you went earlier this year, right? No, we went in 2016. Yeah, last year. I watched yeah. your house. Yeah, because you watch our house every time we go. And yep. I always wonder what you do in our house. <laughs> I Every square inch has my semen on Jizz. it. That's what I thought. I open your drawer, find your underwear, and just... Oh, my God. Well, I don't wear underwear, so I don't know whose underwear you're jizzing on. They call Does Shelly me, wear boy they shorts? They call me Arnold because I go, Commando. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> What's your story? No, the second time. Uh, the f- uh, Shelly's favorite thing is... I can't look at Ryan right now. He's jerking <laughs> off. <laughs> I gotta look off into space. No, Shelly's favorite thing was uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean. Lame. So we, we did it like six times. And one of the and times... And then we went on Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> yeah. No, it's dark and I kept trying to give me a handy, but she didn't want to. Um... <laughs> That's the magic of Disney. <laughs> that yes. would be. That would be. Although, honestly, I don't think I could have sex at Disney because... It wouldn't do, be as good anymore. No, else. when you put a full day in at Disney, you're fucking tired. Yeah, you are beat. You are fucking tired. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, uh, no, we were, we did the Pirates of the Caribbean like six times. One of the times, um, we always fast-passed it, so we were always like, you know, right at the front of the line, whatever. And we got right... We were two or three people back, and we got right to where we were going to get on, and the, the ride breaks down. <laughs> and down in the loading bay, it's, like, completely dark. 
you can just see where the boats are you can get on whatever but it's dark and you can see you know some of the the puppeteers or animatronics they're kind of backlit um so we spent like an hour waiting for for them to start it back up and then all of a sudden like way off in the distance and it seemed like it was a mile away but it was 30 feet away because it's pitch black the control room lights come on and you could see these banks of computers yeah yeah You're like holy shit that's crazy and they're down there they're up there on the phone they're calling down and finally they said you know it's not going to start you guys have to you, you have, have to swim back yeah <laughs> <laughs> careful the sharks uh, uh, I had the haunted mansion breakdown on oh. me last time I was there, and all the lights came on. And, oh, and I, that's... this this was several years ago, and I was just being a total little shit, and I was like, "This isn't scary!" <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh my god! Um, Chris Hardwick, you know, famous nerd. <coughs> he's a funny guy. Yeah, he's all right. He's a little pretentious for my taste. Get over yourself. We know you're sober. God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, he's bought a lot of the artwork from the Haunted Mansion. Interesting. Him and uh, uh, Rob Zombie. Okay. Yeah, all the, like the stretch paintings when you're in the one yeah, room, yeah. the walls move. Oh, it looks so cool. But um, my last story for Disney, and this is going to be so bad, but it's 2001. I'm like 23-ish. I'm, I think now, looking back, I'm a dumb kid in my 20s. <laughs> no offense to the, the other children in the room. Hey, I'm almost 30. Fuck you. Okay. When you're 30, you can say fuck you. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> so in 2001, my mom <clears throat> does this big family vacation for us. She gets, she's going to take everyone to Disney for you know this big millennial trip, whatever. And we get there, and we're staying at the Caribbean Resort. Also, if you ever go to Disney, stay at a resort yes, on Disney absolutely. property. Oh, it's the best. It's just so easy. It is the best. Ryan, how does it feel to be in a timeshare meeting right now? <laughs> so good. I hey, want to. I, I can hook you up, brother. Fuck off. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Someday Ryan's going to get married, and she's going to want to go to Disney on his honeymoon, and he's going to have the time of his life. Uh, Ryan's not going to marry any pretentious cunt like that. Wow. We'll you'll eventually have a child. Yes, and your child will want to go to Disney. And it's your responsibility to take them there. Yes. I'm going to take them to... I've taken my nine-month-old I'm going to take them to Disney World. Dose. The budget Disney World. <laughs> oh, God. In Tennessee. I believe it. It's halfway there. Branson. Half the price. Branson, Tennessee. Living on a prayer. <laughs> Branson, Missouri. Isn't there a Branson, Tennessee? Probably, but who cares? I do. I love Tennessee. <laughs> Tennessee's all right. Tennessee's all right. strange. Uh, so we get we rocket get, top Tennessee. Sorry, it's a song. I don't. I don't know that song. It's an old bluegrass. No tune. one sings that. Rocket Town. Rocket Top. Rocket. Oh. Rocket Man. Elton John. Rocky Top. Okay. Rocky Mountain High. No, that's Colorado. I was gonna say because Rocket Town is a uh, venue in Nashville. Hmm. And you guys were known as the Reese Puffer Pink po Rockets. Pink Pocket Rockets. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so we get to the uh, Disney Caribbean Resort, and we've got the valet unloading our luggage into our resorts, whatever. And our, the resorts are right on these big man-made lakes. And I 100% seriously asked if I could swim in the lake. <laughs> <laughs> Even though all those resorts have pools. Yeah. Oh, amazing pools, by the way. Oh, my God. That well, The way he just worded that reminded me of when we went to um, Justin's dad's restaurant. Oh, yeah. And I asked for... <laughs> we went up there, and we were looking at the menu, and I looked, and in my mind, I was like, okay, I'm going to get a cheeseburger. And I looked at the waitress and I said, hey, can I get a cheeseburger? Uh, does cheese come with that? <laughs> like, so serious, too. I was just being so stupid. I was like, yeah, I'm going to get a cheeseburger. But, God, you know, I could really, really use, use some, some cheese, cheese on that. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. I forgot about that. She said, on the cheeseburger? <laughs> no, <Dang. it's> extra. <laughs> so, yeah, that reminds me of that. That was pretty good. Yeah. Well, the valet was very friendly, and he said, no, sir, uh, actually, as alligators, we have a pool, if you'd like to use the pool. 
<laughs> it's very frightening. The lakes have alligators? Uh, yeah. Yeah. God damn, dude. There was a kid a couple years ago that got ate by an alligator on Good. Disney property. In Florida? Yeah. Was he from Florida? No. Oh, that bummer. It was a t- t- tragic story. For someone. For that kid and his family. Well, no, that kid don't care. I bet they get free Disney passes for life. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, come so, back to where your son died. <laughs> okay, so that, that's what, that was something else I was going to ask you guys. So one of the uh, uh, co-hosts on Penn Gillette's podcast, Matt Donnelly, his mom died at Disney World. Uh, she went down some water slide or something like that, and I think it like snapped her neck. Oh, man. And uh, I forget how old he was, but he uh, he was saying that now, like his family, I think has unlimited everything wow. at like Disney now, which it's like, oh, what a trade off! Thanks, mom. <laughs> Disney's pretty expensive. It is. I mean, if she's gonna, is invest, it worth your mother? Do you get along with your mom? I love my mom. <laughs> is your mom a cunt? I mean, no, my mom is not a cunt. She seemed very nice. She's a lovely lady. So is my mom. Maybe I could borrow a mom. There you go. Lady of the night. <laughs> this is my mom, Candy. <laughs> She's here with her sister. Where's my smokes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Disney's fun. I love it. Disney I can't wait to go again. After we just talked all that shit. This is probably a good time to move on to, you know. Just because you're not enjoying the conversation? Well, it sucks, but Florida. But doesn't suck. To, But to wrap this up. Quit dicking around on not responding to the call to action. Yeah. Yeah. Come right on, in. guys. We want to hear what you have to right say. Right there was just like the last three weeks. And now for a quick break from the show. Hey, listeners. Do you have a subscription to YouTube, Hulu, or other similar services? What if we told you that for less than the other guys, you could support the TAP podcast? That's right. Head over to patreon.com forward slash the TAP. We have plans starting as low as $1 a month. We also have plans for just a few more bucks that come with some great perks, including shoutouts on the show and more. That address again is Patreon, P A T R E O N dot com forward slash the tap. Hey, listeners, are you a business owner or a content creator looking to expand your market? Come advertise with the tap. We have ad space available for any budget. Whether it's a one time ad or a weekly ad, we have you covered. Drop us a line at talkingtap at gmail.com for more information. We hope to hear from you soon. And now, back to the show. So we're kind of talking about Disney. We're kind of talking about vacations. Me and my wife are planning our, vaca- our vacation this vacation. spring. Our furcation. She's growing it out. <laughs> Gross. No, we're talking about taking a vacation. What should we do? Should we go down to Florida, take the kids... Probably just my daughter. Go to Disney for a week, blow a ton of money, or should we fly out to Washington? Check out check out the Boeing Museum. Yeah, is that what's in Washington? Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> why? You, I don't know why you would know that. That's my job, dog. You just you just not. All right. Oh, if you're about to say Seattle, I have a small interest in visiting Seattle. Go to Seattle. I would like to see some of Seattle. It, it's my favorite city. I would definitely go to a Starbucks in Seattle. <laughs> Just to be a well, don't worry. There's plenty to pick Here from. Here we are. Uh, no, in Everett... Okay. Funco just opened up their new HQ. It's an 18,000 square foot warehouse full of Funko Pop figures, dorbs, all their collectibles. It's got separate sections of the world. You can go into <laughs> Gotham City. <laughs> just so everybody knows, Brian is that, like he's jerking off the biggest dick right now. <laughs> There's a, a Hoth for the Star Wars section. It's so cool. Well, I, that could certainly be a day of it. I'm thinking of spending like all my vacation money there. <laughs> Quit tapping your taint. Yeah, Seattle and really, I mean, there there's a ton of cool stuff to check out in uh, in Washington. Like it, just driving through it is insane. Yeah. Like when we always go through there on tour, it's just like you're going up and up and up and up and up and up. And just when you think you're done, it's just a small plateau and you're going further Boop. up and up and up. And then when you go down, it's like, oh my God, and it's this Steep and inclined. this <laughs> and this and semis passing you just like super fast. That's because they're all on speed. Mm-hmm. Washington Sorry. sucks. I'm going to talk shit about every other state. 
<laughs> wow. Okay, so then Florida is cool then. Nope. Well, you're saying every other. No, no, no. Every other state besides Michigan. Sorry. Oh, God. Should have specified. I sw- well, let's recap. <laughs> <laughs> um, so being on, on the road and touring, you've noticed that as soon as you cross the Michigan border, pure Michigan. God damn it, Ed. <laughs> the roads are shit. The yeah. whole country is like, it looks like a third world country when you drive into Michigan. When you immediately go into Michigan or yes. out of Michigan? R- immediately into <laughs> Michigan. New York, uh, the entire state, and Pennsylvania have some of the like worst roads. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Quakers. you literally see... Say what? Quakers. I thought you were going to say craters. I was like, that's accurate. Yeah. But uh, Quakers. <laughs> Quakers? Yeah. Uh, but no, I would agree that Michigan's got some bad roads. I just... Every time I would leave the state... You, you cross over into like Indiana, Ohio or whatever. And it's like, man, this is pretty nice. You cross back in and it's like, oh, the only nice things about Indiana and uh, Ohio are their roads. Yeah. Well, I mean, Cleveland's all right. Yeah. Cleveland wait, is wait. all right. Doesn't Cleveland rock? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anytime I can make that joke, it will be made. There you go. There's two lovely people in Cleveland. Sure. Mm-hmm. Sure. So, uh, you, uh, no, you just touched on, touring yes you guys just got off tour how'd that go uh, tell us about it well i know tell us about I... the groupies <laughs> <laughs> this well, is a safe space a safe space. secret <laughs> hashtag secret time uh when i got home everybody said oh how was tour and i said well i'm home <laughs> it, was, it rough. was not that great but uh, the shows were good uh yeah i guess it was a lot of bad uh, booking this time around. It's like our booking agent completely just screwed everything up. Fire him. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. He's, he's he's gone. Like, there's no getting around that Was one. that through the record label, or was that independent? A little bit of both. Okay. It was a recommendation from the label, and they had no idea that... He was flaky? Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> Did he but, book you like... Because uh, Urban Yeti's doing pretty good still, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't complain. Name drop. <laughs> um, Name drop. Uh, for the for the East Coast, things were pretty good. I think our worst show, we had like maybe only six come through the door, which Whoa. sucks. Awesome. But everything beyond that was pretty solid. Um, middle of the tour sucked. West Coast dates were... Uh, I don't even know. Like there, there was a lot of ups and downs to it. Uh the thing that was probably my favorite thing about tour was a previous podcast guest that you guys had, my drummer Kevin. Kevin, Mr. Kevin, Mr. Which, Kevin. Shout out to Kevin. Kevin, who I'm, who I'm pretty sure is a regular listener. And I, I feel really bad. One time we were recapping our guests, and we didn't mention we completely him. Completely spaced on Kevin. Ah, that's all right. I'm sorry, so, Kevin. Kevin. Sorry, Kevin. Kevin. We love you, Kevin. Just a second, Kevin. I'm so sorry. Oh, so creepy. <laughs> so, uh, that's for you. Kevin and I have a lot of uh, enjoyment out of like vaudeville yeah, and really yeah, yeah. old like showbiz stuff. Yeah. And uh, we had Ed out with us for the first week of tour doing merch for us. And uh, he had left for a little bit uh, when we had a day off. And he came back and he was just kind of standing at the back of the van and. Uh, he went to go to the bathroom, and he came back, and uh, it was his first time out on the road. So, you know, it, when you, it's your first time out, you can attest to this. There's certain things that you're used to that you don't get to do anymore. Yep. Bathroom is definitely one of those things. <laughs> Mom, bathroom, bathroom. <laughs> so It's definitely interesting. Like, you got to break that. If you have the mindset of, I can't go to the bathroom in a public place. Oh, I didn't have that problem. No, no, but I'm just saying, like, for some people, that's a thing. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't. Like, that's you have to break that day one or else it's a problem. So anyway, he's at the back of the van. He's kind of standing there. My vocalist goes, oh, did you finally go to the bathroom? And Ed goes, yep. And... <laughs> He's Ed's kind of standing there still, with a weird face, and he uh, Corey goes, "Was it hard packed or loose stool?" And Kevin, without even like skipping a beat, goes, 
Kiss me, you fool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> and uh, what was some other stuff that he was he said on the road? Uh, <laughs> we have this thing where we always just lisp words. Like, Kevin, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and usually any time it's like him and somebody else hanging out and someone comes by and goes, Hey, what are you guys doing? You're <laughs> doing a real tough guy voice. Just kissing. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Did you ever meet Kevin? Patrick? Yeah, when he was on the podcast. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> <What the> fuck? <laughs> yeah, I sat right next to him. Uh, and you just said, oh, we forgot to give him a shout out. <laughs> wait. Does cheese come on that? Yeah, it does. Okay. For sure. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Sure. <laughs> I'm an idiot. But yeah, Kevin. Kevin made that tour. JT was also a, a, a solid... Student of comedy? Student, uh, I would say he's in his uh, graduate studies. Okay. <clears throat> JT is my bass player, also known as Uncle Teej. Or what on was this the latest? One, Uncle Tooge. Tooge. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes no sense for it to be JT, but... Uh, Does he listen to the show? I don't know. This is a call to action. Everybody, please text this number. <laughs> Uncle Tooge. <laughs> um, or just the Tooge. No, he, he listens to a lot of podcasts. He listens to the Comedy Bang Bang one a lot. Oh, that's funny. Um, don't sh- drop pens. God damn it. Don't touch the mic. <laughs> God damn it. I'm going out again in November. For sure? Yes. November 1st through the 19th. It's all Midwest and East Coast states. We'll see if we're going to Florida. <laughs> well, I'm sure the hurricane will be done by then. This is not the ASMR or whatever it is. Well, what's ASMR? That whole, like, the mouth sounds thing. Oh. Well, no, yeah. where it's like people... They'll have YouTube channels that go like this. Hi, everybody. Welcome to my show. And this week... I'm going to be scratching the microphone with my finger. (laughs) Can we finish the show out like this? Uh, Millions of listens, though, I'm sure. Probably. Yeah, well, and then there's there's one of this woman who's eating pickles. Like big old Vlasic pickles. Oh, (laughs) man. Remember that Asian chick we found with all that (laughs) fucking crazy food shit she does? Yeah, I forgot about that. Doesn't she just like... Ooh, ketchup! Yeah! Yeah. Gross. She's hot though. Asian I mean, I would. Man. Should we? Should we talk about natural disasters? Should we? What should we do? What do you think? Do you guys want to talk about storms and shit? Sure. There's a couple things. Yeah. Touch uh, on them. Some personal experiences. Harvey seemed like it was pretty bad. Yeah. So uh, we're filming or filming. So, <laughs> so we're recording this on a Sunday, and Irma has just like the northern part of the eye has just hit the just the keys. tip. Yeah. Yep, so I was that's scary. Um, I was watching a video, and they were showing how, like, the sand, like, or the water... Has Around the been, Bahamas? Yeah, it's just been sucked out. Gone. Dry. Like, dry land. Yeah, right by the docks. It's just like sand. What the fuck? Like, hundreds of yards out, the mm-hmm. ocean is gone. Are we okay? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty crazy. It's like, oh yeah, hurricanes. That stuff happens. You know, oh, they'll be all right. Like, mm, yeah. th- this is gonna be a long time for this to get like back to normal. Mm-hmm. We, same with Houston. I think they were saying that Houston, which they're used to getting floods most of the time, but never of this magnitude. I think they said if all the water that has like come through that area, if they were to put it in a cube, it'd be like two miles tall and two miles deep. Yikes. God damn, dude. Mm-hmm. And we got earthquakes going on. In and, Mexico, right? Yep. I didn't really hear about the earthquakes. Yeah, it was an 8.1... Yeah, it's uh, huge. 8.1 magnitude. And then uh, we should get some tidal waves from that, right? Or if it, Was it close to the coast, or was it like midland Mexico? Uh, it was pretty far south. Okay. Closer to like South America. I think you only get tidal waves when it's out in the ocean. Yeah. Yep. I mean, our science experts could write in and let us know for sure. But that checks out. That I'm checks a out. science uh, sexpert. <laughs> sexpert. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then Montana the is on fire in parts of the Pacific Northwest. And the fires are so huge 
that some of the smoke... How huge are they? Wow! <laughs> they're so huge. Uh, they're literally so thick and, like, just huge in size that they're seeing them all the way down to Denver. Jeez. Like, we're talking two, three states away. God, dude. I saw the gorge in Washington was on fire. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. So, we... We talk about all this stuff. I'm giving the planet a solid, like, ten years before it swallows itself whole. Mm. Well. That's, like, max. We're dead in ten years, for sure. All of us. The the thing that's interesting is um, I've noticed that a lot of bigger, like, companies uh, and corporations are trying to do, you know, whatever they can to offer relief without having to immediately pay out of pocket. Right. Uh, Ace Hardware, they're... Uh, Allowing people to round up their uh, purchases to donate to donate, which I've had to run in there a few times this previous week, and I rounded up every time because yeah, sure. not? I never do. <laughs> Patrick um, doesn't care about kids. I don't. Apple normally they're all about like Red Cross stuff. They ended up partnering up with another company. And I started looking around, and a lot of people are not about the Red Cross these days. So I started looking into it a little bit, and uh, it's interesting because the, the money that goes in, because it's not labeled as a not-for-profit. Yeah, it's a very small percentage of your donation actually goes to relief mm-hmm. efforts. Mm-hmm. So it has to trickle through a lot of different um, avenues. Yeah. yeah. There's another podcast I listen to called... Uh, the completely unnecessary podcast. It's a video game one. And they were talking about this company called AmeriCares. And I looked them up, and they're a not-for-profit. 97% of all donations go to actual relief efforts. That's awesome. Yeah. And the remaining 3% is just for administrative costs. Let's bump them, then. And uh, Was that America, AmeriCares? AmeriCares. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, they, uh, they had a very high rating, so I thought that was interesting. You know, because... Pretty much any organization like that has always got some bullshit with it. Yeah. Like the Wounded Warrior has got a bunch of stuff with it and awful. Yeah, if you're going to advertise that, you know, all of your money is going toward this good cause that it's supposed to, have at least most of it go there. Hi, I'm Mark Wahlberg for Wounded Warrior. Wahlbergers. You're paying for my time on this, on this infomercial. God. Thank you. I cannot stand Mark Wahlberg. You know, he blinded a guy. Punched him in the head and blinded him for life. I thought it was just from his good looks. Nope. He's not good looking. Uh, did you know that <laughs> Matthew Broderick dude. killed a guy? Yeah. Yeah. But he's super regretful about it, and he always talks about that how it changed his life. He was now like, he's a big star. He, no, he's, <laughs> he's got like serious issues about it, and I think that's part of the reason why we you really don't see him do much in acting anymore. Hmm. But... What about Tom Hanks? Did he kill a guy? No, he should, though. Himself. <laughs> I heard there was something bad about Tom Hanks. You shut your mouth. I, I don't want there to be. I don't. I can't think of one bad thing about Tom Hanks. Okay, good. That checks out. Yeah. Tom Hanks for president. Talking shit about celebrities. Yeah, fuck celebrities. Yeah. All right, so let's do, let's do a, a little bit of a segue here. Fuck, Mary kill. <laughs> so we've talked about natural disasters and now we've kind of went on to celebrities and movies how about bad like natural disaster movies oh yeah those are fun yeah what's the one the day after tomorrow oh yeah with, um, everything's so cold we have to go to Mexico Dennis Jake, Quaid Jake Gyllenhaal I think I'm, I'm right with that right yes, yes that okay. was their plan was to go to Mexico yeah which in the movie checked out because it stopped just short of Mexico so Awesome. Global warming. Climate change. What's some other ones? Well, we were talking, I couldn't remember the name of San Andreas, and I just called it The Rock Movie. (laughs) (laughs) Shitty Rock Movie number 327. It was pretty shitty. Uh, We used to watch a lot of them when I was a kid. Dante's Peak is one that sticks out. Dante's Peak Penis. (laughs) (laughs) That's a really old inside inside joke there. It was funny. Like, when Dante's Peak came out, there was another movie that came out the same Volcano. Volcano, yeah. yeah. With Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah. Yeah. We watched that one, too. Both shitty. Fuck you, man. I love those movies. Dante's Peak, I really like, though. Had Linda Hamilton in it. And Pierce Pierce Brosnan. Brosnan. Ugh. That hunk of man meat. (laughs) 
How funny it'd be if someone was like, hey, I think one of the most uh, compelling disaster movies was Terminator 2. Did you see how the whole world was vaporized? Yeah. Fireball. Firestorm. Never saw it. You need to see that. I'm going to get some shit for that. I always get shit for movies I haven't seen. Terminator 2, I, it seems like, oh, great. It's an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. It holds up today. It does. For really? The, now, the, there, are, there are a lot of, like, little errors in that movie. But, mm. but like, it, mostly with, like, staging of stuff. The, yeah. The one is where he, like, he's on the motorcycle and he does that jump. Yeah. And the front end camera shows like, uh, like a peak at the end. Mm -hmm. But the, when they show the the sh actual like jump shot, it's totally square. Also, no Harley is gonna make that jump. Right. But that all aside, like that's a very well written movie. Yeah. Like acting is great. Have you seen what Eddie Furlong has turned into? The kid. <laughs> yeah. Not great. The kid from Terminator Two. Oh, huh. whoa. Well, Picture me. Anything like Haley Joel? <laughs> oh yeah, like Haley Joel Osment did. Oh yeah, uh, sure, but worse. <laughs> we we just uh, like me. We just watched uh, Silicon Valley on HBO. Okay. okay, and he's on that on the last season or oh, the most current season. I had bailed on that after Haley Joel. Two. Yeah, it's it's a weird it's a weird show. Now that TJ Miller's exited, like I just have no interest yeah, in that. Yeah, likewise. Um, Dude's funny. He's hilarious. Uh, yeah, Haley Joel Osmond is at on the last season. Of really, it. he's got this huge beard and he's everything. Fat, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's bloated. He's bloated. He looks like uh, you don't watch this show, but it's always sunny in Philadelphia. No, he looks like um, Frank. No, Mac, the character. Okay. Yeah, Mac. Mac got kind of fat for one, but on purpose. Yeah, he was cultivating mass. Yeah, <laughs> I love that show. It's a good show. Do you know what I got into watching this year for the first time? Wit, Rick and Morty. I've heard that's that that's so pretty stupid. good. That's a Dan Harmon cartoon. Yeah, it's hilarious. Dan Harmon, I've liked some of his stuff, so I don't know. Probably uh, like that. Justin Roiland, the guy who does the voice of Rick, he they prank called Joel Olstein's prayer service. Oh, yeah. I heard about that. Hilarious. I saw something about that. <laughs> hilarious. He pranked him as Rick in character. Really? Hilarious. <laughs> the woman starts talking in tongues for, during the prayer. And then he starts talking in tongues, and she can't hold it together. She starts laughing. <laughs> and he's like, you're laughing because this is bullshit, isn't it? And she's just dying laughing. It was, it's, it's funny. Look it up on YouTube, Facebook. I will. Ruined. Not you guys, oh, just me. No, everyone should. <laughs> See, I grew up not in... Tornado. Oh, Twister. 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 Twister, yeah. Twister was good. See Helen young, Hunt. Uh, oh, rest Philip in peace. Philip Seymour Hoffman. Hoffman was in that? Yeah, he was. Oh, two people are dead from that movie, Ooh. at least. Yeah, um, Bill, Paxton, Bill Paxton died. Bill Paxton just died. And then Philip Seymour Hoffman. OD'd. Yeah. yeah, he OD'd. Bill Paxton died. Just died. Weirdly. I think it was like a stroke. Yeah, something like that. Complications from surgery, I think. Okay. Complications from being Bill Paxton. <laughs> <laughs> that was a complicated existence. Um, Who did Hoffman play in that movie? He was one of the scientists. Yeah, I think that okay. was a very early role for him in yeah. his career. It was, uh, oh yeah, it was before um, Big Lebowski. Yeah. Oh, he's so funny in that. <laughs> Big Lebowski was 1999. Yeah. I've Isn't got a uh, Big Lebowski pop. You have the one? dude? Yeah, the dude. Nice. I like your style, dude. Walter There's... is ex extremely expensive. I believe it. I think he was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Damn. Should we uh, should we do the convention exclu uh, circuit, guys? I mean, just go around to like San Diego. Let's let's do. Uh, yeah, you New go York. ahead and get the tickets. I'll it's, go with you. It's a tax write off because we're doing it for the show, <laughs> <laughs> which has no business affiliate really. Uh, it would be a tax write off. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so we can get all the exclusive pops. There you Hello? go. Come on, come on. Right, right. Did you see the? The New York Comic Con exclusive Star Wars pops that they just released. Are we going to do the pop segment Whoa. now? No, we're we're still talking disaster movies. Good. <laughs> uh, I was saying I grew up in the '80s. That was my formative years. So I had the '70s. His best years are behind him. Hey, I, when you peak at 16, <laughs> <laughs> you peak early. I haven't peaked yet, man. And hard. Um. So I grew up with like the Poseidon Adventure. Sure. Uh, what a horrible movie. Cr 
cruise ship turns upside down. People are trapped inside it. They got to work their way up to the hull. That was their plan. Bummer. A lot of them died. R. About, you saw Jaws, right? Yeah, that's not really a natural disaster movie. That's a fuck you. That's a shark. That's a shark. That's a just a weird fish movie. <laughs> It's a weird fish fetish movie. Yeah, I jerk off a lot to that. <laughs> yeah, bite that boat, you fucking... Oh, God. Well, all right. Oh, hey, Noah's here. Hi. Uh, yeah, that got awkward. Sorry. <laughs> Just on your foot. Uh, I'm trying to think, what like what disaster movies we really watched when we were kids. It was probably like Airplane. That's not or Airport. Movie. Airport. <laughs> it's, they're so similar. Are they? And no. <laughs> There's well, like airport and airport 1977. What about um? There was that's not old, but there was that really crappy. I think Wayans Brothers movie, the literally disaster called movie? disaster movie. Yeah, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I don't know if no that's anything watches. related to natural disasters. No idea. We I can think just talk just about a bad movies of all disaster movies. <laughs> We don't have enough time for bad movies because I got too many to name. Yeah. yeah, one specifically I still haven't seen because I still don't think I'm ready. Home Alone. What? The Room. Oh, The Room. I still haven't seen it. You guys are both fucking up. I don't know. Maybe the third time we have Noah on, we'll do a special screening of The Room for a podcast. We need to do a uh, a film screening. That I episodes, think that would be a good one. Where we like make you watch movies you've never seen. Mm-hmm. Home that would Alone. be one. Just do like a, a weekly, maybe pick three movies to suggest people to go watch. Yeah. Have you seen Predator? No. Of course not. Why would you have seen Predator? I don't know. I'm a piece of shit. Yeah. Kill yourself. <laughs> God. Yes, daddy. <laughs> yes, daddy. <laughs> uh, uh, disaster movie. Uh, I don't know. I There was one. Well, this wasn't really a disaster movie. This was like a nuclear holocaust movie. That freaked me out. I think it was called, like, The Day After. I think it aired on NBC. Yeah. It had Anthony yeah. Edwards in it. You might remember him from ER. Nope. Of course you're not. You never watched ER, did you? I did watch ER. Fuck off. Bad show. I'm sure Anthony Edwards was in a lot of other things I just can't think of. But The Day After was just this horrifying The Day After a Nuclear Holocaust. That always fucked me up. They could have done a real one uh, and just talked to people from Japan. Yeah. But we won that one, so it doesn't count. <laughs> yeah. Oh. We're definitely not war criminals because of that. 100%. Yeah, we are. They did strike 100%. first. That, that's true. That was... But we struck last and final. <laughs> yeah. That force was well in excess of what they had done. Sorry. And... There, some people think that they did send warnings that Truman chose to ignore and not pass on. We'll never know. Oh, here we go. So, back, natural disasters. Did you know that there are people that think that Donald Trump is doing a better job than Barack Obama did during Katrina? Yeah, I work. I used to work with one of them. Really? Yeah. Hey. Mm-hmm. Spoiler alert, Barack Obama wasn't president during Katrina. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they were, didn't they lift an image? Didn't they lift an image of some black woman doing something and it was Condoleezza Rice and not uh, Michelle Obama? I, I have no idea. They but mistakenly labeled it as Michelle Obama. CNN did that with Joe Elstein and uh, they put Tim Allen. Yes. <laughs> was it Tim Allen's mugshot? No, it was like a really, it was a younger picture. It looked like Joe Osteen, they, they but look a lot alike. totally was Tim <laughs> Allen. Yeah. Because he was, he was Tim the Tool Man Taylor. He had a tool belt on. Heck yeah. Uh, it, people are uh. like, <laughs> people are so nuts right now. Yeah. They're all stupid. Yeah. yeah. Like take a minute and look at what you're doing. I got kind of shut down on facebook this girl posted something about uh look at what our wonderful president is doing and he's doing so much legitimately yeah like she's legit and i said yeah like i would be out in front of that camera too handing out one bucket of supplies for that photo op and then go right back to golfing but you know like how much money has he given someone immediately commented that he personally donated a million dollars and i said 
well, that's kind of ridiculous that he needs to give a million dollars. Maybe he sh- shouldn't cut the programs that are in place to help these people. Like FEMA? Yeah. <laughs> well, and uh, I was just hearing this the other day because we had like uh, just TV playing in the background. We were painting at the house. Um, Wait, you don't you don't have porn on when you paint? No, oh, no, okay. not this. Time. I guess that's just me. not this time. I did when I had when I was painting my office, but <laughs> oh, you probably weren't painting white, were you? No, that's why. Okay, yeah. God so, damn it. <laughs> anyway, um, apparently they're trying to pass a thing right now to justify sending relief money. Like, what's what is their argument against sending relief money? Uh, well, they'll figure it out. They, <laughs> well, they, they deserve they, it. They keep they keep stressing the whole like debt ceiling thing. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, they freaked out because uh, the Republicans freaked out because Trump sided with the, the Democrats debt, yeah. to raise the debt ceiling mm-hmm. or raise or lower it, whichever one. I'm not an economist who gives a shit. Should raise it. He did something to the debt ceiling that the Democrats wanted and they weren't happy. Anyway, back to that story on Facebook. This girl, I went back and forth with like three or four people talking about how trump is a joke they're arguing that he's not yeah and they're pissed and the the girl whose post it was got pissed and deleted all of my comments <laughs> and then laughed about it and i immediately commented well you know okay so uh, obviously trump supporters don't believe in freedom of speech right and you're just going to delete this and it's just going to go away and she did and it just went away and that's fine but well now it lives on forever yeah that's right missy yeah Hill, fuck you alexander shout out <laughs> <laughs> i don't even know this girl i know her sister jessica oh is that one fifth, uh, four fifth, the, fifth, the fifth one fifth jessica that i didn't bang okay um <laughs> I, four out of five jessicas can attest <laughs> i have a thick wiener gross yeah but no, I, I really don't understand how anybody could think that Trump is doing a good job. No. Well, it's interesting. He's kind of changing his tune around a little bit because uh, he realizes how low his approval rating is. He'll change his tune to wherever, you know, wherever fair weather. the Republican Party wants to take it. He's a fair weather president. I don't think he cares about his approval rating. I don't think he does either, but... Uh, what are my TV ratings like? Exactly. That's what he cares mm-hmm. about. When his TV ratings drop, then he will change. Mm-hmm. His TV ratings are never going to drop. I can't wait for the State of the Union address. Oh, man. I really can't. It's When is it? I don't even know. It's in January, usually. Is it in January? Every year. It's going to be the highest State of the Union rated State of the Union address ever. Watch. I, well, yeah. It's going to be better honest. than all the rest. <laughs> No, it's it's going to be a big deal because he's going to sit here and he's going to talk about what a great job they've done with Irma, with Harvey. And who knows how bad Irma's really going to be. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, Harvey is bad. 86,000 homes gone. Mm-hmm. There should be no discussion about what relief to send them. Mm-hmm. Every able-bodied person should be down there helping. And I'm going to throw this out there. I put on Facebook, who wants to go to Houston and volunteer with me? I got one like. Mm-hmm. Really? <laughs> one like. Who was it? I don't know. My sister, probably. Oh. But I would I would take time off from my job. I would go down there and help out. But now it's kind of funny. Did you guys see on the news the guy from Muskegon that went down there to help that got arrested for burglary? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> they had him on some kind of <laughs> nanny cam like cleaning up this family's house he was going through their stuff oh, what a piece of shit <laughs> from a skegan shout watch out to skegan yeah watch us go to texas right to jail and in then texas. to jail come on have I, a little fucking integrity come yeah. on i think if irm is bad i'm gonna go integrity <laughs> if irm is bad i want to go down to florida and volunteer ryan, i just want a vacation come on ryan let's go I can't. Yeah, one can. thing that's interesting, my mom goes on uh, one of those old dad, dad band rock cruise. hair rock cruises. I fucking love cruises. And uh, Ryan, quit looking at your fucking phone and pay attention. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and uh, her friend that she Yo, goes with, her friend that she goes with, they're kind of like, I wonder if our hotel's going to be there after this uh, this hurricane stuff's done. It will. Fuck it. <laughs> they'll rebuild. Fort Lauderdale. It. Oh. They'll is... rebuild. 
We'll see. Florida's got yeah. a lot of money. Yeah. A lot they do. of money. Thanks, Jeb Bush. Uh, fucking Ed! Oh, God, that was <laughs> way too loud. <laughs> yeah, pull your eardrums out. Yeah. Um, I guarantee if you wanted to go volunteer for, like, hurricane relief, if you went to any... I do have eight hours of volunteer time from work that I could use. I guarantee, though, if you went to your boss and said, hey, I'm going to Florida, I'm going to be gone a month, is my job going to be here when I come back? There is no way they could say no to you. I think there is a way. There is no way, because you immediately contact Legally, there is a way. And say, hey, TV 13 watchdog, I went to volunteer to help the people in Florida, and my job fired me. So this is how I can see it working. And it would really depend on like the character of your supervisor and your boss and your company. When I originally wanted to go out on tour uh, for the first time, uh, we were trying to figure out if I was going to be able to go out on the road or not and yeah. be able to come back and have my job. And my boss had no problem with it, but she wanted to make sure that there wasn't any sort of like legal things to go through or paperwork-wise to make sure with I was still corporate? able to keep it. Yeah. So usually what you can do is you can just claim, oh, hey, uh, I got family stuff going on. Take, uh, was it FLA? FMLA? FMLA. Yeah. I family think, Medical Leave Act. And that's like two weeks. That's up to like 30 days, I think. Is it 30 days? I thought it was two weeks. But, uh, yeah, I think you could get away with it with something like that. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Hard to say. Without calling out the company that Ryan works for. And obviously, the two of us know what yeah, what yeah. it is and how big they are. It is yeah. a global company. Mm-hmm. It is a multi-billion dollar I make a lot of corporation money. Corporation that I don't think you make a lot of money. I, shut up. I need it for the women. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Ryan is balls deep in $20 bills. And pussy. <laughs> That's not going to get you more women. It is. The shady ones. That's well, what I need. I offered to give you Echo's phone number. Oh, and I don't want fat chicks. I'm just kidding. <laughs> she no, she just had the surgery too. Gross. She's lost a lot of weight, I guess. I haven't talked to her. Got all those wounds. <clears throat> anyway. Wounds. Anyway, yeah, as big as that company is, I would seriously think they would be okay with him going down there. Yeah, because for the positive press they would get. Right. Yeah, and what's one employee in a company of how many? Hundreds, thousands. Hundreds just in Muskegon. Yeah. They're they're huge. Yeah. Now, me, on the other hand... I would still need the income, which I would not get, though. That, that's what would suck. But... But that's where our Patreon comes in. <laughs> dun, Here comes dun, 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 dun. Uh No, like, if I were to do that, I would for sure lose my job. Because it's a small company. There's, like, five people. And they do not care about you. And they do not care. Or about Florida. And honestly, it would mostly be a vacation. (laughs) I told you so. (laughs) You piece of shit. But I would still do it. It, Yeah, it would be the the good thing to do. No, if I could honestly take the time, I would go. That being said, I haven't donated a dime to any kind of relief. (laughs) Well, if you are. Because like we were talking before, where does our money go? Well, now we know. Go check out AmeriCares. AmeriCares. I will for sure. I'm going to check it out today and I'm going to donate You think we could put a link up for that? Yeah, yeah, we'll put that in the episode description. And that be, yeah. that should be your call to action this week. Yeah, hey, everybody, give a dime, give a dollar to AmeriCares. Go check out AmeriCares. Make sure you agree with the company's policies. For sure, you know, don't follow us blindly on anything. Right, follow me blindly. <laughs> but go check that out and like, give what you can. I mean, we're all we all live in different spots. We have different lifestyles, but we all want the same thing. We want everybody to be okay. Yeah, you know. Help out your fellow man if you can. Yeah, generally, I don't care about other people, but when something of that magnitude rolls through and there's nothing you can do, what do you do? I mean, 86,000 homes are just gone. Yeah, It's yourself- going to take a decade to rebuild that. Put yourself in that situation. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Um, I did have family down in New Orleans when Katrina rolled through. Yeah, and Barack Obama did nothing. <laughs> nothing. He was only a governor, I think. You know, he never was a governor. Wasn't he was he, a senator. I, he wasn't the governor of all... I'm, you know, I think you're wrong. 
I'm 100% sure. Bet. He was the governor of <laughs> Illinois. He was never no, the governor. He, he, was, he was a senator. Are you yeah. sure? Yeah. Absolutely. I would maybe go congressman. He was not a congressman. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. He's Show just... me his birth certificate. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know, was he actually born in Hawaii? Yeah. Not Kenya. Uh, okay. Cares? All right. Not Kenya. Can you show me his birth certificate? <laughs> show me the birth certificate. Um, but yeah, he had family down in in Katrina, in New Orleans. In, in New Orleans, that's how they say it. It's really weird. Uh, he actually got like drafted into FEMA. It was really weird. He was a, a manager for FEMA, and he was managing, redirecting these people into these shitty trailers. And, he, and they never saw him again. And well, <laughs> the funny thing was the the people that he was trying to help were complete assholes about it. Mm-hmm. So I gotta get my stuff. <laughs> they were pissed. He was, where are my pitches. He was very unhappy. Yeah, but he still <laughs> lives there. So whatever. Well, hopefully they built the levee bigger this time. I think they did. Do you remember? Um, did you guys see the movie American Sniper? Nope. I can see you not seeing it. Uh, I didn't see it, but I'm familiar with it. Uh, Br- Bradley, Bradley Cooper. Cooper starred as... Uh, the American Sniper. As a True story, wasn't it? Based on a true story. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> Chris Kyle, the, the SEAL who was later killed... Man, with two first names. Anyway. Chris Kyle. Uh legitimate american badass very good sniper wrote his book american sniper and had some tall tales in it what are you doing you're like dying it's the noise i made i know i was just rolling past it because i'm a professional podcaster it just came out of nowhere that's why he's laughing I know. so uh in one of the stories, Chris Kyle, and this is all going to come back to the Katrina, but he had said that he punched out Jesse the Body Ventura. So did I. Uh-huh. <laughs> did Jesse the Body Ventura sue you and win? Oh, I Jesse the Body. Oh, okay. Jesse Lavati. He's Levati. an Italian guy I know. Ah, uh, well, you better not mess with the Italians. You know they're all on the mop. They're all on the mop. All gotcha. On the mop. Um. <laughs> Another story Chris Kyle told was that during Katrina, he was tasked by the government to uh, eliminate looters. So, All lotters will be shoot on sight. And that's, I saw that. Um, <laughs> Did you see that? No. Yeah, it's it a was... picture of a bunch of dumb rednecks. Like, and there's, yeah, dumb rednecks. Come yeah, get me. Super dumb. And there's... Um, they painted a sign on the back, like on a door. It says, "All lotters will be shot. Will be shoot on sight." <laughs> they meant to say, "All looters will be shot shoot. on sight." Yeah, it'd be great if they spelled sight as like vision. Yeah. Oh, S I G H T. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. But it wasn't. Uh, yeah. So during Katrina, this guy supposedly was shooting looters. American hero. Hundred percent not true. <laughs> 100% not true. Didn't make he, it into the movie. Why would he brag about Cause, that? Because he was nuts. He had to pump up his book. Well, all he had to do was just call Salt and Pepper to pump out the jams. No. <laughs> pump it up. There you go. Yeah. Is yeah. that in Space Jam? No. Of but course it, you've seen Space Jam. Oh, yeah. I've seen of Space Jam. Of course you've seen Space Jam. <laughs> oh, I thought you asked if that was in Space Jam. All right. Let's wrap this up. Uh, let's recap. We have a cookout coming up. Yep, Saturday, the 16th, Nystrom Road Park. It's this weekend. Yes. Yep. Come on out. The 16th. Saturday. We talked about old school stories. Noah wants people to write in and... Yes. Tell us any story you have, if, if, even if it's off topic. Even if you got a story from a few episodes back. 
Yeah, just say, let us know. Say you're, you're, you're new to the podcast. Sure. Natural yeah. disasters. Natural disasters. They suck. AmeriCares. Yes, AmeriCares. If you feel so inclined, look at them. See if their morals match yours. You can, uh, you can find us on iTunes and, and Google Play Music. Google and Play. YouTube. And YouTube. The Please. entire catalog will be up there soon. Yes, Please. check us out on YouTube. On YouTube. And um, be sure to subscribe to the podcast. That's important. All right, She's we're closing gone. it out. Our guest this week was Noah Sias of Striate Cortex. I'm big! <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much, Noah, for being here this yeah, week. Thank Thanks. you for having me back. All right. Bye. You're Patrick. Oh, and yeah. you're Ryan. I'm Noah. See y'all later. Bye. Bye. Can we be done now? <laughs>